Hello, I'm the business and political editor here at Barclay Squares, and I'm here at the watershed to meet with Tim Bowles, Conservative candidate for the West of England Metro Mayor. In a sentence, what is the Metro Mayor? Somebody who will work with the three council leaders to develop a clear strategy to address a number of the issues that face the region and ultimately be responsible for driving the economic growth of the region. And why does the West of England need a Metro Mayor? So we've got a really good story in terms of being the second most uh, effective region in the whole country. The only other region outside the South East that provides a net return to, West, to the Treasury. But whenever you talk to business and, and to everybody who re lives here, we have got areas like transport where we've got challenges. We've got areas like housing where there are challenges. We've got challenges with jobs and skills. So this role will give the people of the region somebody who will lead on a lot of those issues, but more importantly, work collaboratively with the councils to deliver the results. What qualifies you to put all that in place? So yes, a long and successful business career where I've gone out and helped companies develop long-term successful businesses where I've worked with small startups, and that's the lifeblood of what we're doing, and that's really where I want to energise and excite um, people coming into the jobs market. Yes. Not just to see their careers as necessarily working in an office with any of our companies, but having the ambition to go out and start things themselves in lots of different industries. So, <laughs> the Metro bus is estimated to cost £200 million. Nobody's bid for the contract yet. Is the Metro bus an extravagant mistake at the expense of taxpayers' money, or is it the best advance in Bristol's transport system we've ever seen? In this instance, we have got a new form of transport that will help take thousands of people off the roads. In doing that, it will reduce congestion, it will improve air quality, and it will make all of our journey times in lots of areas a lot easier. But we've got to do an awful lot more as well. We have councillors, we have MPs, we have MEPs, we have mayors. Aren't you just another level of bureaucracy that nobody really wants? I think the way we need to look at this particular role is that it's going to be the person everybody in the region can identify. So this isn't a new layer of bureaucracy. At the moment, we've got people in other organisations working with councils who none of us have ever heard of. So this is going to give everybody the opportunity to have a face they recognise, yes. somebody they can go to and somebody they can talk to. Property prices rose in Bristol by 9.6% last year, more than any other city, including London. What will you do to help the people of Bristol buy a home, especially those first-time buyers? We have, we have a housing shortage. Within the cities, we have many, many brownfield sites. At the moment, they're not being developed. But when you talk to people in the cities, that's where they want to live. Yes. They want to live close to where the jobs are, close to where their families are. Building ho homes out on green fields many miles away are not the homes that people are looking for at the moment. The mayor will have some powers to secure additional funding, and I'll be using that additional funding to start unlocking some of those sites. So, back onto transport. Will you be regulating bus fares, or is that not within your remit? Fair pricing is something that councils can work with uh, bus companies on. The mayor can't provide subsidies for bus services, yes. for individual bus services or individual groups. That's not within the remit. What I can do is drive forward bus franchising to look at strategic bus routes. Yes. That's what I can do, and it would be unfair to be suggesting there's things I can't do. Now, I understand this isn't part of your remit, but is your £62,000 salary too much, too little, or just about right? Okay. You're absolutely right. I have no remit over it at all. When I was uh, first uh, encouraged to stand for this role and, and when I was selected by the party to, to be the candidate, we didn't know what the salary was. So I went into this completely open-minded, completely focused on trying to do the best thing for the entire region. So just one final question. Could you sum up for us why we should be voting for Tim Bowles for West of England Metro Mayor on the 4th of May? Of course. Expertise, knowledge, know-how. Somebody who gets things done. Somebody who knows what the job is. That's vital. Somebody who knows how to work with the council leaders. That is vital. Somebody who has the experience of working with government, it's vital. Yes. I've got all of those skills. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Great. Pleasure.